Hello everyone and welcome back to Complete and Total Random. For today I'm going to be going over the controls and systems and how to operate an 850k dozer. So to start with we'll go into this side. We do have our own uh, set radios on their own private channels with their own little just two-way controls right here. And then on this side we have our ripper control. This is how you raise and lower the ripper just with this little lever right here. The blade control, this, these little buttons control the blade itself, up, down, left, right, and then this rotates the blade, these two little buttons. This is also has GPS controls, and usually there's a GPS screen in here, but since we're not using it, we take it out. Usually there's like a pole that'll be right there, and that's how you use the GPS. Up here is our start button. You require to input a code using these little buttons and then hitting enter. Your stop, so this is how you turn off the machine. All of your wiper controls, because obviously you have different windows that have different wipers, including your rear window. They all have to have wipers, just in case it starts raining. Like, now turn it off. This is just your washer fluid. If you have any, sometimes these machines get pretty gunked up and they don't uh, work anymore or just nobody bothers to fill them because they just clean them by hand. Your lights, so these are your working lights you have, that you turn on when you're running the machine. Your throttle, so these two buttons control your throttle. As you can see right here, when I hit it, it throttles up, and when I hit it again, it throttles down. These are your automatic controls, so it sets your throttle to basically be more efficient this is your reversing control it just sets how much more gears you're in in reverse versus when you're pushing it forward as opposed to setting it every single time you go to reverse auxiliary electrical controls we don't have anything hooked up to the auxiliary so that control does nothing and your uh, non d cell so basically when this is on and you press this little pedal down here this is you, both your brake and your decel, meaning it slows the engine speed down. So as you can see, when I have it throttled up, if I press the button, it decelerates it and it applies the brake. But if I put this on, you can see that me pressing the button doesn't throttle it down anymore. So that's what that does. Up top here, we have our AM FM radio. All the machines come standard with these nowadays. You got a little 12 volt port and just a little USB our B port. So you can charge whatever you need up there. Down here we have a Wabasto. So these are more common in places like Canada or places where you know it gets cold and snowy. Basically this lets the engine warm up before you start it so you don't break the block or anything. These are all of your menu controls. So you can go into the menus, and do all your operations and diagnostics and check stuff out that way. This is just the standard screen here. You have your coolant temp, transmission temp, and hydraulic temp, as well as oil pressure. Up here is the machine hours, so how many hours the machine has ran for in total. That's what you use to keep track of it, just like uh, the odometer in a car uh, keeps track of your kilometers. This is your gear and selector so it'll tell you if you're in forwards reverse neutral or park as well as what gear you're in your throttle this right here is your diesel so it tells you how much diesel you got as well as how much def which is your diesel exhaust fluid over here we can also look back right here we have our park brakes both of these need to be pushed down to take the machine out of park. And then on this side, we have our controls. So right here is our gears selector, these buttons right here. As you can see, that changes the gear of the machine. And then right here is our controls for driving. So pushing it forward, lets us drive forward. Pulling it back, lets us reverse. And then twisting it side to side, rotates us, whether we're going in forwards or reverse. 
park brake back on. And the only other control that's worth noting is down here, you have your seat controls, as well as this. This is the button for your air seat. So these seats have air suspension. So as you can see, it's kind of hard, but you can see they move. This allows you to fill them up with air. And so that there basically is just an airbag underneath there and that acts as a shock. So this seat will move up and down as you go over rough terrain to basically try and save your back. But other than that, that's kind of the controls in this machine. You also have some other stuff over here. This is your, just your fan switch, just like you have in a standard car, hot, cold switch. Your positive air shut off, I won't hit this. Basically this forces the machine off in case of emergency. Right here you have your AC and heater, your, your other fans, as well as your heated seat, because these machines do come standard with heated seats now, which is really nice. I don't know if they have them in the warmer climates, but I know in Canada, that at least they're standard. Other than that, there's no other controls in these machines. And yeah, these things are wonderful. I love running these six way deers. They're really fun to run. And these 850Ks have a surprising amount of power. I know this is a bit different than my other uploads for heavy equipment. So I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you in the next video.